Meet John. John is a security analyst for a manufacturing company with operations in the U.S. and across the globe. One day, John's manager informs him that the company was the target of a cyber attack, impacting personal data in the organization's HR and marketing systems. John's manager wants him to investigate, but systems are spread out across multiple data centers and cloud environments around the world. With so many data sources, tools, and interfaces, this seems impossible. How can John truly find out what happened and gather enough insights to ensure it doesn't happen again? Luckily for John, the organization uses Cortex-XDR from Palo Alto Networks. Cortex-XDR is the industry's first extended detection and response platform that's spanning all data sources to stop modern attacks. Using next-level endpoint protection and AI-driven threat detection, the solution simplifies security operations. John springs to action and checks out the incident management dashboard, viewing a graphical summary of incidents across the organization. Prioritized by attributes including severity, assignee, incident age, and affected hosts. Persona-based dashboards for other members of John's team, such as the security administrator and manager, provide relevant security posture views, helping everyone make security decisions faster. John is looking for incidents with users in marketing and HR, so looks at the user dashboard. He sees that the mean time to respond is still reasonable but also notices the Identity Analytics module has flagged some users. He opens the Assets screen that contains user scores. He sees that a user in HR and Marketing have a high score, so he decides to drill into User View. None of the user logins or authentication information is suspicious, but the insights and alerts need more investigation. John opens the incident and follows the company's incident handling playbook. The playbook instructs John to focus on users, devices, resources, behavior, threat intelligence, impact, and any future threats. John ticks down the list and answers these questions with just a few clicks. In the incident view, John can clearly see that devices named PC2, PC5, PC6, and PC3 are involved. He's able to confirm and identify impacted users in the HR and marketing departments and confirm the active directory groups they belong to. This visibility indicates these users open potentially risky files in their browser. John sees that threat intelligence from Wildfire and VirusTotal confirms these files are malicious, and he can click through to gather more information from the vendors. These events are starting to worry John since he sees alerts from Cortex-XDR and Next Generation Firewall as part of the incident but he can also see that the threat was proactively stopped by XDR before it was able to do any damage. John wants to inform his manager and close the incident, but first he needs to make sure the malicious files did not spread laterally through the network. John clicks over to Cortex XDR Live Terminal and uses the File Explorer feature to check the downloads directory. Oh no, John sees the files and quickly deletes them. He then uses Search and Destroy in Cortex XDR to confirm the files are not anywhere on the company's network. Fortunately, all copies have been destroyed. John resolves the incident as handled and updates his manager who is extremely relieved that John was able to quickly get to the bottom of the incident before further damage was done. Learn more and schedule a product walkthrough at paloaltonetworks.com slash cortex slash cortex dash XDR.